Hello and welcome. I am the Soul Enchantress. And this topic is about why mindset work is BS and what to do instead and what really needs shifting when you need to shift internally in order to change whatever problem that you're trying to solve in your business or your lifestyle or in whatever change you're trying to make in your life or business. Okay, so the word mindset and mindset work seems to be such a fad and extremely prevalent in self-help and personal development. And what I'm about to tell you is not to nullify any of the great work that is being done by people who are doing this work, but it is simply to bring to your attention that there is a limitation to mindset work and that it is not any kind of uh, finger pointing or fault finding on the part of the practitioners who are imparting this knowledge and wisdom, it is simply to bring to your attention that from an energetic perspective, when you can actually see and uh, experience realms that are not physically available to everyone, that there is a larger picture that most people don't see. So I would like to bring that to your attention and show you why mindset work is actually, actually very limiting and just simply bring to your attention what is the bigger picture and then you do with it what you will. So here we go. The mind is something that is a physical um, creation. Okay, so the brain and the mind, uh, they are literally physical incarnations of energy. And as with everything that I speak about, it is all energetics. It is the unseen realms and 96% of the known universe is invisible. So obviously, if you only believe what you see, then you are literally being limited by accessing only 4% <laughs> of everything that is even known. Okay, and that's not to mention all that exists outside of what you term your known universe. So the mind is simply an energetic receiver. It is a physical receiver of energy. That, that's all the mind is or the brain. Even though it is programmed to protect your body and to run this beautifully designed mechanism called your body, and to operate the billions of functions and trillions of functions that happens without you ever knowing. And to function your nervous system, your every, every system that exists in your body. So there is a functionality associated with the brain and the mind. However, the mind is simply a small part of the whole. The whole is you as the energetic version of yourself, which is the invisible you. That is the real part of creation that exists. Experiencing this uh, reality that you call your life, your lifestyle or your business. Okay, so when you are focusing on mindset work or shifting a paradigm which is related to how you think or your emotions or your belief systems, which is great. But sometimes there are hidden nuances to all of this that is invisible and that no amount of shifting your mind is going to shift. So <laughs> when you are focused on simply doing mindset work, what you're doing is you're simply limiting the Pandora's box that you can open you're literally saying let me open Pandora's box but you know what I'm only going to open this tiny little portion of it that is controlled by the mind 
and then you're leaving all of this other invisible part of you neglected and therefore you are not accessing all of the information that is relevant to changing that pattern or that behavior or finding a solution for that problem. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I hope that kind of makes sense. And as I said to you, it is not necessarily um, uh, a denigrating of mindset work. It does have its place, but just understand that that is like a stepping stone. It is not the end all and be all that it is made out to be in uh, today's self-help world. Okay, and also I did say that I would um, tell you what it is that you can do instead. What you can do instead is actually to get in touch more with who you truly are at your core, which is your invisible self. And that invisible self and getting to know that invisible self is a process in terms of... Um, in terms of understanding what lies beneath the layers that is controlled by your mind. So um, a regular listening to silence, so regular periods of being by yourself and simply being with your thoughts um, and your emotions, that is one of the most effective ways that you can learn to understand who you really are. So normally what happens is whenever something comes up, whether there's some kind of an emotion or some kind of a drama or some kind of a problem that needs solving or something that doesn't work, that you're trying to find a way around, whatever it may be, that is simply a reflection of what is happening within you and instead of actually going within to solve it, you are actually looking outside for a tactic or a hack or some kind of a manipulative strategy that you can actually fix that. And instead of doing that, if you spend some time in silence and try to understand who you are and then come up with a solution from that perspective, it is not an easy thing to do. And this is what my work with my clients is all about in actually showing you in a really quick and fast and easy way because I can see the energetic realms and I can feel it, I can sense it, I can touch it. Um, so it is a lot easier for me to actually pinpoint where you're falling short and what it is that you're not seeing which is right in front of your eyes and then you can actually use energetic tools and strategies to find solutions to your problems to actually find a way around it and then when you apply your physical strategies it is far more effective powerful and you gain quicker momentum in your business as well as in your lifestyle so I hope that this message helps and listen to it a few times just as I always say with all my messages because they are multi-layered and you will only hear what you are ready to hear consciously in each listening so you will always find a new gem each time you listen to it and as always if um, I would love to hear from you if you would like to explore further and gain insight and understanding into how you can actually incorporate true amazingness and bring about um, change that is truly fulfilling in your lifestyle and your business and you can reach me at soulenchantress.com Joyous blessings.